For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, and not that every image of the things can never with those sacrifices which they offer year by year continually make the comers thereunto perfect. For when would they have not ceased to be offered because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins? Oh gosh. For when or then would they have not ceased to be offered because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance, again, made of sins every year, every single year, over and over and over again. They were never set free. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offerings thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. Jesus' body and his blood. Verse 6, In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast had no pleasure. He has no pleasure in that. There is no freedom in that. Oh Lord, oh Lord, forgive me. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Every single day. Every single week, oh Lord, oh Lord, kneeling down. There's no pleasure in that. You have been set free once and for all, period, or exclamation point. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. To do thy will, O God, above when he said sacrifice and offerings and burnt offerings and offering for sin, thou wouldest not, neither has pleasure therein it, which are offered by the law. The law is not pleasure. The law is not freedom. The law is bondage. The law is sin. The law is death. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. All by himself, he did it. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. That's it. We are sanctified. Through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away the sins over and over and over and over and over again. It was a remembrance. We don't have that, we have freedom. And every, but this man, after he offered one sacrifice for sins forever, forever, meaning eternity, sat down on the right hand of God. From henceforth, expecting till this, the enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he has perfected forever them that are sanctified. We are sanctified the moment we believe. The moment that we believe on him, on Jesus Christ. Where of the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. What? The Holy Ghost is a witness to us. The Holy Ghost comes to live inside of us. The, we have the witness living inside of us. <laughs> this is the covenant that I will 
make with them after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts and into their minds, and I will write them, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. No more. Now where we're now where remission of these is there is no more offering for sin having therefore brethren boldness that means confidence to enter into the holiest my gosh the old testament people couldn't even enter into the most boldest uh holiest of holies I think it was only the high priest that could do it. We have that freely. (laughs) We have the boldness and confidence living inside of us. We have the altar inside of us. Okay. The living altar. By the blood of Jesus. By a new and living way. Which he has consecrated for us. Through the veil, through the veil, that is to say his flesh and having a high priest over the house of God. Hallelujah. Let us draw near with a true heart in full, 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 full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. And our bodies wash with pure water. The living water flow within you, believer. Purify yourself with an evil conscience of sin, repent, repent, sin, sin, repent, sin, repent, repent, sin, sin. That doesn't work. It didn't work for them back in the day, and it's not going to work for us today. That's why Jesus had to come down and do what he had to do and set the captives free. He had to come down and set the captives free. He had to open the prisoner door. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love, unto good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Hallelujah. I love you guys.